Here's everything you need to know if you want to make a perfect study plan, and this applies to both Junior Cycle and Leaving Cert students. In this video, we'll walk through what is a good study plan, how you can make a good study plan, and also how you can stick with a good study plan. So firstly, what is a good study plan? So more than anything, a good study plan should be realistic. It might be tempting to write up a study plan that involves studying for 10 hours in all of your subjects every single day for the entire year. Like that's not realistic, and if anything, that might demotivate you from doing any study at all. Because when you make an impossible study plan and you don't follow it, understandably, then you might just start to feel bad about yourself and get demotivated. Instead, you should start small by planning out short study sessions and then building up the study habit. By doing this, you'll feel satisfied for completing all of your study tasks, and also you'll feel motivated to continue studying again, because if you overwhelm yourself from the start, you won't feel motivated to do any study afterwards. Along with being realistic, a good study plan should be really easy to follow, and it should include super specific tasks. And the best piece of advice I ever got regarding this was actually to avoid focusing on studying at a specific time. For example, just writing down in your study plan, I will study biology um, at 6 o'clock. By setting yourself a specific time, you might find yourself in a position where you said you start studying at 6 o'clock, but now it's 6.30 and you didn't get anything done yet. This might actually demotivate you from doing any study at all, because you might think, well, what's the point, you know, I said I'd start at 6 o'clock, but I didn't. Instead, it's better to write down how much time you want to spend studying. So for example, instead of saying that you want to study maths at 6 o'clock, what you can do instead is say that, okay, I want to study maths, I will do 30 minutes of past exam questions, in um, algebra. I will spend 20 minutes watching sample solution videos on maths in the questions that I struggled with and I will spend 10 minutes looking through my past class tests to see what I got wrong. So once you know exactly what tasks you need to get done, the next thing you should do is actually write all of this stuff down. Now you don't need a really really fancy study plan template with lots of colour and lots of drawings and everything. A simple list will do the job. What matters more is actually getting the study done rather than what your study plan looks like. That all being said, if you'd like you can just print out a study plan template instead. We have loads available on StudyClicks and I particularly love this one. So personally I'd really recommend putting together a study plan that involves actually like ticking off the tasks or like scratching them out. I found this to be super super motivating and it was just so satisfying to just like tick all of my tasks off when I was finished with them. And honestly it motivated me to continue studying even when I didn't feel like it. And so this actually brings me on to how to stick with your study timetable. This is actually the trickiest part of having a study plan because everyone studies differently and everyone works differently and everyone has different habits. I think the most important thing is to try different methods to see what works for you. However, here are four things that worked for me. So firstly, going to the library was actually a complete game changer for me. Every single Saturday, I'd go to the library for a couple of hours and get all of my study, all of my homework done and over with then, which meant that I had the rest of the weekend to just relax and do nothing. So although the first few Saturdays were actually really, really tough, eventually I got into the habit of studying on a Saturday and then going through my study plan was actually not that difficult. And so then during the week, I actually used to use a thing called the one minute rule. So the one minute rule is basically when you tell yourself that you're only going to do a task for one minute. The idea is that starting to study is actually the most difficult part of studying. So by tricking your brain into starting your task by saying, oh, I'll only do this for a minute, will make you actually study for a lot longer than that. Also, getting my least favorite study tasks done and over with at the start of my study sessions also really helps me to keep motivated to study. Because I found that when I did my favorite study tasks first, once I was tired, I didn't really feel like doing my least favorite study tasks. And lastly, scattering fun little study methods throughout my study plan actually helped me to keep up with my study plan because I find that like learning through flashcards or through doing study clicks quizzes is so much fun it doesn't really feel like studying but I am being productive so putting in study methods and study tasks that you really enjoy doing into your study plan will make it more likely that you'll stick through it if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below I hope this helps and best of luck with the study